and welcome to the Mediocre Photography Show. My name's uh, and my name's Wack. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be talking to each other for an entire hour and wasting both our time and your own time. Yes. We're going to be doing a top ten lists because we're sellouts. Yeah. So we are yeah. talking about the top ten mistakes that undergraduate photographers make. Right. Should we do the photo convo? Can do, can do. Whose turn is it to go first, Jack? Oh, I've I've lost count. I, I will just quickly also apologise because I realised fairly late on last week. I didn't actually advertise the word. Yeah, I noticed this as well. I just completely forgot. And I reckon it was, it was such a weird... Because of the format we did Spectrum in. And I think that just completely threw me off. I was like, oh no, it's fine. Apparently, yeah. So I... I apologize to the three people that look at it so um jack's fired basically yeah <laughs> this well you've still got the advert out for a, um a coho <laughs> get it trending guys <laughs> jack <Jack's> is over <laughs> <laughs> no right. so um yeah so i didn't advertise the word but it was still on the show and um the the word was was coverage, which is an, not a good word <laughs> to be taking photos of. I'm guessing I'll, I'll, I'll go first then. Yeah, crack Great. on. Send, considering send I, yeah, considering I did mine this morning, um, I really, really struggled with this one. This was like the first one where I was genuinely like, I messaged you like last night saying, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> but, and... <laughs> And so I just came up with this because I think that it sort of represents it. It's not really relevant. Um, to Is that sort a dog? Of dis- no, it's 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 me in bed. Ah, oh. under covers. Go on, explain yourself. I'm sure it makes sense with uh It no, it doesn't even make sense in my own head. I thought. Saw- I sort of thought coverage, and I looked at like definitions as I normally do, and it, all I saw was like radio coverage and like media coverage and stuff like that. And I sort of thought, ah, oh, well, Ben K, you know, I'll just shorten it to cover. <laughs> and so I saw, I just, I ran out of ideas, and I sort of thought, oh, do you know what? I've had this this picture in my head for, for like well i had it last night and i was just like oh you know what just to get something done i'll do this it fits the sort of the style and the sort of narrative going from the last few i was there like oh, psh, so psh. you didn't think at all because this was my immediate thought it's like oh you know there's so much coverage in the news in the media or on the radio you can't get away <laughs> from it the only place that you're like really safe is, you know, hiding under your covers away from the world. Well, that didn't I pop didn't... into your head. You thought, oh, coverage, duvet. <laughs> yes, that's my exact thought. I told you I was struggling with this word and it, I don't know. It's just a, a very bland word. I was thinking too literally about it, which it's not like me because I'm far too... Deep. And deep, yeah. And so it, it was... Yeah, I just, do you know what? Should we just start again and put your action on it? <laughs> nope, it's going in. <laughs> Brilliant. So I had a similar kind of idea that I wanted to, um, you know, uh, where we are in the UK, um, or England more specifically, I should say, uh, lockdown restrictions were lifted uh, last week or partially lifted last week, so it meant that we could sort of go out and go a little bit further afield. And um, I wanted to go out and photograph uh, landscapes again and do something like that and um, try and find a very open, uh, you know, wide landscape that I could go and photograph and sort of go on a similar track to what I expected this photo, Jack's photo to be about, which was, um, you know, we are so indoctrinated with news coverage and stuff like that in the world that we couldn't, 
go out and we, there's no way that we can escape now and I've often found that the only place that I can go to escape is to go out into the wilderness and have my phone just turned off and or like just listening to music going somewhere where there's no data no internet and just walking and being able to you know hide and, and run away from everything and then we went into lockdown for seven days so that didn't happen did it <laughs> so what I decided to do instead oh. was uh, a little bit of digital art. And uh, this is the result. And it's kind of a bit sh Do you want to explain? Yeah. So what we have <laughs> is a group of people standing, um, looking up towards... Uh, some billboards and I wanted them to be more billboards but actually like because I'm terrible at Photoshop took quite a long time for me to put them together and then in the other end there is uh the moon uh and they're, they're not looking at the moon they're looking up at the billboards and you get so bogged down in listening to the news and watching you know stuff and and it is completely inescapable that you kind of forget to look up and um I found a really good YouTuber who I've just hugely, ridiculously gotten into uh, recently. It's Exurb1A. That's E-X-U-R-B-1-A. Alone and dead and alone and dead. And I'll try to remember to put the his a link to his channel in the video description. Um, but the um, subheading to this is uh, existence is terrifying. It's a reminder to myself, and it's a reminder to you know every anybody who may be listening to you know just look up and don't be too bogged down in the minuscule and the and the small things. Damn. No, we need to move on to the next word. Oh yeah, the next word. Go on. Yeah, let's let's not just forget the whole word this time. <laughs> I mean, did <laughs> we notice? Oh, I don't think so. Um, right, you ready? The word for this week is sanctuary. <laughs> what do you mean? F That's a good word. How are we meant to be even vaguely original with this? Uh, yeah. I don't know, put your own spin on it. You did with the last one. If you hate fun and want to join in on this week's photo conversation, then uh, use the hashtag mediocre conversation in order to do so. Okay, right, we're going to move on to the list. Let's move on to the list. So this is 10 mistakes undergraduate photographers always make. Number one, <laughs> not actually preparing. Uh, this was something that I came across that I did a degree in photography not knowing what a degree in photography actually was. Uh, so, you know, if you're doing a degree in photography or any degree for that matter, maybe do at least a little bit of research into it and, you know, try and find out what's going on. Right, number two. <sighs> not realising the extra costs. Now, a normal degree costs, what, three years... Nine grand, 27 grand, there or thereabouts. You know, your pen, your paper, you can pick up from Smith's or anywhere, in fact, for a pound or something. But photography, you have to remember, you have to buy very expensive gear and equipment. And, you know, you can pick up a pad of paper from Smith's for whatever. And But a pad of photographic paper is um, outrageous. Unless you want to pay ridiculous prices, you get it online. <laughs> uh, number three ah. is buying really expensive equipment before you start your degree. This is a trap that I see a lot of people falling into. And uh, the truth of the matter is that, you know, unless you kind of, uh, until you start specializing perhaps into a different process, you know, shooting on film, different camera or something, you don't need to go out and spend all the money in the entire world on all of the gear, because that's what I did and it was kind of unnecessary. Number four, <laughs> although uh, people progress at their own rate, uh, one of the mistakes you can make is not trying to find your own style. 
first year is about sort of experimenting with different styles and uh, the different modules and briefs that the lecturers will set you, hopefully. But then year two is sort of when it kicks in. I think you need to sort of uh, start finding your own style. And I know a lot of people in our course, you know, really struggled with getting to grips with their own style, a style that they enjoyed and really succeeded in. So uh, on to number five, uh, forcing a bad project. Um, we've all been there, you know, the ideas, juices, it's just, they're just not flowing. And your lecturer, they're like, Ben, you need an idea. And you go, okay. And you pull something completely terrible out your ass and you run with it because you don't know what else to be doing. And there's pressure and you run with this terrible idea. And even though everyone tells you it's a terrible idea, you're like, no, 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 I'm going to keep going with it. And then I'm just not going to do very well. And it's just really tough. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, there, there. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Apparently. I don't know. No, um, I don't know. Maybe it took them a week. So, yeah, if you're struggling to come up with a project idea, just relax. It'll come naturally to you. You know, work on your own process, seeing if you can find out uh, how you can allow the project to come to you a little bit more naturally than trying to force Number six, <laughs> uh, being distracted by people further ahead than you. There is no such thing. Uh, people will go at their own pace or they should go at their own pace because it comes at different times. Um, you know, a lot of famous photographers, they're what, how old? Very old, you know? Very old. Some, some photographers you know, pass away before they even become famous. So take your time. Don't be distracted by other people. And um, as you said, it, it should all come naturally. Number seven, <coughs> getting bogged down by grades. Um, something, a lesson that I uh, have yet to learn is that grades don't actually matter at all. Um, so, you know, if, if, if you get a bad grade in a project, then think of it as feedback. Don't think of it as, oh my God, I'm going to fail my entire degree. Do you know how difficult it is to fail an entire degree in photography? It's nigh on impossible. If you know how to use a camera, pretty much guaranteed pass, not going to lie. So um, yeah, if you get a bad grade, don't worry about it too much. Just, you know, keep moving on. Sometimes your project may not work, uh, may not conform entirely well to the uh, algorithm the the lecturers use to mark your work that's fine too just do what you need to do again find your style because ultimately when you finish your degree become a real photographer not that we're yet there yet <laughs> um then your work isn't going to be graded it's either going to succeed or it's not so mistake number eight <sighs> is not taking every opportunity presented to you now this was one of my biggest mistakes at uni um i didn't use the lecturers as much as I now realized I should have. Um, you know, they're there to teach you and should use them, not use them, but use their knowledge and, uh, and opinions to better your work. Um, also with, uh, you know, extra lessons, extra seminars, extra anything, really. Take every opportunity because afterwards, as you said, you're on your own. Number nine, not putting your work out there. Um, at the end of the day, there isn't the fairy godmother who's going to turn around and uh, see your uh, prints, uh, which are sat on your shelf, not doing anything, and go, ah, oh, Jack's a really good photographer, let's make him famous. If you don't put your work out there, if you don't accept, you know, the knockbacks and the failures, then you're not going to get very far. You need to enter competitions, you need to approach publishers, you need to... Uh, just face the fact that, you know, there is going to be a lot of setbacks, but it only takes one person to be in the right place at the right time to really like your work. And, you know, that can be a big stepping stone in your career. You need to be annoying and hound people in order to do that. And the other thing is, why wait? You know, if you're doing a degree at the moment, if you're, you know, in second year, 
don't think, oh, I can do that when I graduate, because chances are when you graduate, you're in full-time work, and oh, no, you're 40 now. <laughs> Get the work out there when you still have the time. Use the network and the industry contacts that you make during the degree in order to do that. Make your own luck if you need to, but uh, don't sit on your work and expect that one day, oh, you'll just be famous because you post one photo a month on Instagram. It's not going to happen like that. Need to get the work out. Thank you, Ben, for that. I, I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mistake number 10 <sighs> is not staying in touch with people after your course. Uh, we're quite lucky as creatives that the support network is, is really quite good. Um, I feel like I can email a lecturer, a former lecturer, and ask, you know, how my work is and send her a few pictures and it'll be supportive and stuff like that. But I know a lot of people that won't do that. They'll just disappear off the face of the earth after graduation because they don't feel the need to get in contact with these people. But if you, if you're dead set on becoming a fine art photographer, for example, other fine art photographers, can help you, especially the ones that you graduated with, because you're all in the same boat. You will graduate at the same time. Um, so yeah, get in touch with former lecturers and past uni mates because um, you don't know what you can get out of it. What are your top 10 mistakes that you made, are currently making, or perhaps will make in your degree? Doesn't necessarily have to be photography, just you know, leave some comments. Um, Jack, people really liked you. Uh, where can where can they find you? Uh, at Jack Henderson Photo. And if if people liked you, where where can they find you? When people like me, when <laughs> uh, they can find me at uh, Ben Bullman Photo. Where can they find the show, Jack? Uh, at the Mediocre Photo. Good. Well, if you like the video, like it. If you really liked it, subscribe. Have a nice day. Goodbye. We were quite lucky, I feel, with our with our lecturers and peers. Um, they're all very nice people. Um, mm. They're all very nice people. <laughs> and <laughs> stop. <laughs> Right, number 10. Uh, <laughs> Mistake number 10. <laughs> Stop looking. I'm not looking at you. Mistake number 10. Uh, not staying in touch with people after your degree. Um... <laughs> oh. Number 10. Not staying in touch with people after the course. Um, you know, if you... Oh, Damn it! <laughs> Mistake number 10, not staying in touch with people after the course. We're quite lucky as uh, creatives that we're all in the same boat after graduation. <laughs> Stop it! Oh my god! <laughs>